Uh, yeah, baby. Well, we were talking about the Venga Boys, one of the great bands of all time, mm -hmm. up there with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on the Venga Bus mm -hmm. and whether it's coming to your town? <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm still distracted by the fact that you guys brought up Mr. Six, more flags, more fun. That is very traumatizing for me <laughs> because it's hard to get out of my head. Terrible. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I have had to deal with the scourge of Scoop There It Is for the last six months in this house. Yeah. So yeah. thanks. Scourge. Right now, Sprinkles. I can't get out that. <laughs> yes, I can. No, 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 no. It's in my head. So. Thank you for that. That's Mr. all I can think about right now, Shrakes. <laughs> yes, Mr. Job, Six. More take flags, more later. fun. Take take that for what you will. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Shrakes. <laughs> Gladly. Uh, Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas, as we make this smooth transition to what's happening in New Orleans, is going to be sidelined for about two more months as he recovers from ankle surgery in June. And it's this surgery that reportedly is causing, it's causing some tension between Thomas and the organization. Now, the Times-Picayune is reporting Thomas ignored calls from coaches and trainers for three months this offseason and he put off the surgery. Thomas responded to that on social media Monday by saying, quote, they tried to damage your reputation. You saved theirs by not telling your side of the story. And coach Sean Payton was asked about Thomas's response and had this to say. Obviously, we're focused on Mike getting healthy, um, but outside of that, you know, that's never been an issue. Do you want to address anything he insinuated today? No, I don't want to have a press conference based on social media. All right, Kay and the guys will have more on that story later in the show. Meanwhile, in Minnesota, wide receiver Justin Jefferson went down in practice the other day, suffering a sprained AC joint in his shoulder. But head coach Mike Zimmer says Jefferson will, quote, be back pretty quick. So good news for Vikings fans. And Bucks fans will like to hear this as well. Tampa set to kick off their preseason schedule on Saturday against the Bengals. And head coach Bruce Arians saying everyone is slated to play, including Tom Brady, who Arians says we can expect to see for a drive or two. Now, apparently, they need the work. As B.A. said, yesterday's practice was the worst offensive practice he has seen in three years. So, K, okay, whether it is a motivational tactic or it's really the real deal, either way, we'll at least be able to see them in action on Saturday. Appreciate the updates all around. We'll, of course, have more from you throughout the show and on Inside Training Camp Live. Let's talk Steve.